Yes, your wife needs you to bring your bad boy out. Hello, my name is Valdo Lallement. I'm a relationship coach. I started The Vibrant Couple nine months ago to further my purpose of liberating love through connection and playfulness. Welcome to our Flirting With Your Wife series. Today is our 11th episode and I am definitely not going to be politically correct. I'm going to talk about what a nice guy is. I'm going to talk about why women need conscious men. I'm going to talk about bad boys and how to bring your bad boy out. And critically, I'm going to talk about permission and consent. Last but not least, very soon, I will do a video on your wife's naughty girl. Women's core need is safety. As humans, we are like an iceberg. 10% of our thoughts are conscious and 90% are subconscious, like our automatic thoughts, like you don't need to think, to walk or drive, and our dark desires. Nice guys have been conditioned to think that dark desires are not acceptable, red light, and that in order to be loved, they must only have nice desires, green light. As children, we learn that some of our desires are not accepted, but they make adults chuckle. Amber light. In order to hide their dark desires, particularly the sexual ones, nice guys put a damper on themselves and become less trustable. That damper fools nobody, and especially not your wife. Because you do not know and own your dark desires, and by the way, Owning them does not mean acting on them. She cannot rely on you for her need for safety because she doesn't trust you as being able to protect her. So she has to protect herself both from the world's sexual aggressions and from you because you do not know your dark desires. So my invitation here is for you to become a conscious man who knows and owns all his desires, including the dark ones. So, how about bad boys? Well, it is well known that women are highly attracted to bad boys. I made a video here recently on this. And they typically choose nice guys to marry because they want children and they want safety for their children. I trust if you have watched this video this far that you are either a man tired of your nice guy conditioning, you know, the people pleasing, permission seeking, woman fearing, and possibly friend zoned husband or you are the feminine partner of a man who lacks the confidence, playfulness, and attunement to you, you are longing for. Let's grow some balls here. I am not going to tell you what to do here. It is important that it comes from your own knowing of yourself and your woman. However, here are a few examples. Role play, dominant posture, undressing her with your eyes, dirty talking, spanking, playing with toys, exploring multiple orgasms, making her beg, watching porn together, enacting a porn scene, sharing your sexual fantasies, having sex in unusual places, exploring taboos, and tantric sex. For more advanced practitioners, CNC and BDSM. Porn could be a good way of getting you started. However, be careful about porn because porn often leads to a loss of vigor for men. I recently did a video on this. The three keys are confidence, playfulness, and attunement to her. Some of you may not feel confident at the beginning to invite your woman to explore playing with your bad boy. So options would be to practice in front of a mirror, asking a dear friend to role play with you or role playing with your therapist. Confidence will build as you go. And by the way, 
confidence is the number one factor that women rate as an attractor in a man. The second key is playfulness. The more you set your exploration of your bad boy as a game, the easier it will be for her to follow you. For example, you may tell her, hey darling, I want to explore my bad boy with you. Would you be willing to play with me Saturday night? No worries, I have already booked a sitter in a hotel room. Or you may say, my love, I just watched a video saying that more women than we think are turned on by dirty talk. Would you be willing to play with me tonight for 30 minutes so we can playfully explore what dirty talk, if any, turns you on? One of the tenets of playfulness is the willingness to fail miserably because it is likely you will at some point. And you getting back in the saddle and trying again, of course with her consent, is a sign of balls and confidence. Confidence and playfulness will increase your masculine presence, which is what most women want the deepest. The third key is attunement. This is something that bad boys do really well and nice guys do poorly due to the damper they put on their dark desires. In addition, the nice guy's curse is to ask for permission. So, do not ask for permission, but validate consent. Consent is paramount. However, consent in a one-night stand is very different than consent in a long-term relationship. I am inviting you to explore your bad boy in partnership with her, as a way to improve your relationship, as a way to enliven and bring more passion to a steamier and steamier sex life. Couple considerations here. First, you cannot improve what you do not talk about. I did recently a video to invite couples to learn to talk about sex. Second consideration, in a couple we make a lot of mistakes, especially sexually. So in addition to learning to repair and learning to apologize and to forgive, I strongly invite you to create a culture of consent with your partner. One of the components to that, that comes from the world of BDSM, is the creation of a safe word. That is a word that is sacred between the two of you and basically means stop. It may also be good to have a sacred tap because sometimes, especially in sex, we feel so overwhelmed that we cannot talk. Permission is not evil by itself. Asking for permission will definitely keep you in the nice guy friend zone territory. What is really helpful in a couple is to give each other permission. In a couple, we either bring each other up or we bring each other down. The same applies to sex, where we both turn each other on or we both turn each other off. Coming back to attunement, when you sense that your woman is enjoying one of your moves, tell her, invite her to explore more fully what she's feeling, encourage her to become more wild. Here, I'm going to hold my cards tightly for the upcoming video on exploring her naughty girl. A key component of attunement is connection. I recently did a video on the three things women crave in the bedroom. In that video, I share that with connection, almost whatever you do can work for your woman. And without connection, almost nothing you can do would work. So how do you grow your capacity for attunement? 
strangely, most of it is not with her. You may do that through practicing martial arts. You may do that through practicing Tai Chi or Qigong. You may do that through meditation. You can also do that in your men's group. Of course, I'm talking about a men's group where the intent is to become conscious men. I'm not talking about men's groups in which the intent is to self-congratulate oneself that men are superior. And of course, with her, attend a couple's retreat, take listening or nonviolent communication classes with her, and of course, in your sexual practice. Coming back to your bad boy practice, how do you know what to do? The bad news here is that it is impossible to fully know the feminine as she's as vast as the ocean. The good news, however, is that her feminine nature is responsive. What that means is that when you make a move, she responds and then you make your next move and she responds. So if she likes what you're doing, you continue. If she does not like it, you do something else. An example of that, which I believe is important for nice guys to hear. When a man makes a sexual move onto his woman, often, and I'm not here to qualify or qualify, but often she will say no. When she says no, some men take that as a rejection. Terrible mistake. She is simply saying no to sex now. She is likely open to a back rub or a foot massage. She is likely going to resist some of your bad boy practice. Some of it is the novelty and unfamiliar territory. Some of it is pushing her buttons. And some of it is just the process. Please read her resistances as invitation to try something else. This is where the safe word is particularly helpful because it helps understand the difference between a no to sex, but I would be open to a foot massage, and no, I am totally overwhelmed right now, let's stop this practice. One of the things that will help her relax and connect with you is you sharing in real time the impact the practice has on you. For example, you may say, it turns me on when I see you enjoying my spanking. Women really appreciate the impact they have on their men. That is part of their feminine nature. As you practice your bad boy, it will become easier and easier to know what to do. Your therapist might be helpful in helping you identify and better understand your nice guy. However, I believe that the bad boy practice is one of the best ways to free yourself from your nice guy. If this video inspired you to liberate more love through practicing your bad boy, and remember very soon I'll do a video on exploring her naughty girl, please hit the like button below and subscribe so you can be notified when I publish new juicy content. And please share with all you believe would benefit. I look forward to seeing you very soon.